Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. So yeah, as you can tell, it's gonna be a little bit different of a video. I'm actually in my uh, my Scuba Pro Scuba Pro wetsuit right now, but the reason I'm actually making this video is because these cool fins. Got these in the mail, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks ago now. And I thought I was gonna make a video diving into brush piles, but uh, Unfortunately, there's a lot of people fishing the brush piles. I don't want to really dive into them right now and on a weekend when people are fishing them. It's not really respectful. So, instead, I came out to this lake. No one's on it. Um, there aren't any brush piles in this lake, but there are some, uh, some weed lines that are still pretty shallow, five feet of water. The bluegills might still be spawning. Um, it's 58 degrees right now. Northern Wisconsin, I don't know how warm the water is, which is why I'm wearing my uh, my wetsuit because I can take cold air you've seen me ice fish in like negative 40 that's no problem Neg cold water I'm not a huge fan of cold water so the goal today is to try to find some crappie or bluegill by swimming get some underwater footage for you and then I'm gonna go wait out and see if I can catch some of them all right let's get in the water Oh, well, I didn't see any fish. Let me know if you did in the comment section. I'm sure if I caught some on the GoPro, I'll know, but uh, I didn't see any fish with my goggles. The shallow water is actually pretty clear for the most part. There's a little bit of crap in it, but the problem I had was my goggles, they're picking up a lot of glare. And uh, when I got more than like five feet of water, I mean, I think the camera got down to about 10, 12 feet, but I, I couldn't see any fish, so. So yeah, I didn't see any fish there. So I don't think I'm gonna fish here. I'm actually gonna go across the lake. See this little point right over here? Yeah, I'm gonna go across the lake. I'm probably not gonna swim there because it's only like four feet deep. But I think last year, some bluegill were spawning. Kind of where that point is, there's like a creek that goes out right, right here. There's a creek that kind of goes out and it's like a sand spot. So I'm gonna try it. I'm definitely gonna wade in with these, these guys. 8 liter, 8 liter, thank you so much. If this video ends up getting 500 likes, I'll do a, a diving video, a full-on diving video for brush piles. But it's got to get 500 likes because you must really want to see that. Don't worry, the video's not over. 500 likes on this video, I will do some diving for brush piles or diving into brush piles, get some underwater footage for you. But yeah, I'm going to go over there right now and see if we can uh, catch some bluegill. Maybe do a catch and cook out of the video, I don't really know. I just wanted to show these off. Boat ramp number two. Oh. oh, there's a bluegill right there. Oh, I just scared it. What an idiot. There's a bluegill right there. Let's see if we can catch him. Micro crankbaits. Oh, something's got it. Yep. Bluegill. Bluegill. Bluegill on. Bluegill on. Yes. Ooh. It's not a bad one either. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, that uh, that whole bluegill thing didn't really quite pan out. So, I'm actually gonna try to catch some crappie today. If you notice, I'm wearing my, uh, my water shoes instead of the fins because uh, I'm not gonna dive into this water. There's, there's just way too much boat traffic out here tonight. But, but today, I wanna finish this up, 
Let's try and catch some crappie on these deeper weed lines. They're not quite, on this lake, they're not quite to the brush piles just yet. So, deep fish in deeper weed lines. But there's another lake where they are on brush piles, so let me know if you want me to go dive down to some brush piles. Let's get set up and try to catch some fish. Okay, well, I'm switching this up because it's a little heavy. And I found some, found a school there on top of about 13, 14 feet of water. They're right on top of the weed line, and the weed line is very tall. The weeds go up from like 14 feet to darn near five feet below the surface, so. I wanna try something different here. And in the state of Wisconsin, you cannot have a uh, five-tiered umbrella or umbrella rig, but you can have a three-tiered one. So that is what I'm using right now. I've actually never fished with one of these for crappie. I've only used one of these for bass down in Lake of the Ozarks, so we'll see how this goes. Well, let me let me show you the school right there. So that is a school right there, all on top of the whoops, all on top of the weed edge. They're right there. Actually, there's a couple schools. So this is a little heavy, but uh, we'll see if we can make it work. So this is what I got set up. I got different colored jigs here, different style of jigs. I have. Wow, this might be a big issue. Green, little uh, crappie monster curly tail. On the white one, I got a power bait. I guess a power bait shad pattern, and then the chartreuse jig. I'm going with the Charlie Brewer. Chartreuse, black and chartreuse, little paddle tail swim bait. I'm gonna spread these out a little more so they don't get any more tangled than what they're probably going to be. There he is. Got him. I think I've... Yep, there he is. He is not the keeper we want, though. Easy, buddy. Flopping crappie's got crappie flopping on the boat. That is not the size fish we want, though. It's like an eight inch fish. We're looking for those 11s and 12s. There he is. There's one. This is not the school we want. That guy got on the Charlie Brewer. All right, find a new school. This is not what we wanted. So there's a school right there, just on top of the weed edge. They're just stacked up on top of the weeds. All right. Let's see. I switched it up to a beetle spin. I just think that big, that big bait was uh, scaring them, was scaring them a bit. So I picked out the chartreuse and a little Charlie Brewer with a little Colorado blade beetle tail. Or beetle spin, not a beetle tail. There's a bunch of them down there. Let's see if we can get some bigger fish. Looks like there's some bigger ones mixed in. Oh, there he is. Yep. I don't know. No, nah, he ain't gonna be. Uh, whew, he ain't gonna be big enough. Nope. Come on, where are you big girls at?
There he is. Oh, that feels like a better one. That feels like a, a better one. Okay, there's a pike chasing after it. There's a pike chasing after that thing. There we go. That's the school size we want. That's the school we want right there. That's probably like a 10 and a half. Yep, 10 and a half or. Get back in there. There he is. Feels like another good one. Mm, he's gonna be close. I don't think he's gonna make the cut. Nope. There he is. Uh, I think it's a little guy. Yeah. Let's see, bud. All right, let's see if we can catch one more keeper crappie here and then we'll uh, call her a day. Huge thank you to uh, A Leader for sending me the fins. I realize it's, it wasn't the, uh, the diving video that I quite wanted, but you know, what are you gonna do? Let me know in the comment section if you want me to do an actual like free diving video, get some brush pile footage. I'm really curious if you guys really wanna see something like that. There he is. Might be a decent one. Nope, it is not. But that one's gonna be the ender. That one's gonna end it for me. Even though it's not that great. Just a tiny guy. Huge thank you to A Leader for the fins and the shoes. I'm gonna put a link in the description to uh, their website. They're also gonna give you a discount code right here uh, on the screen. I'm gonna also link that below if you want a pair of these guys are the, the shoes which I'm gonna guess is what most of you want uh, unless you're a free diver but uh, yeah huge thank you for them sponsoring this video and let me know in the comment section if you want to see another free diving video on some brush piles I'm gonna get out of here we'll see ya